Vladislav Lord Kipanedze. I came across an article in the British newspaper Daily Mirror, dated November the 2nd, 1966. The author was George Cannon, an American diplomat and writer, who was for some time the United States ambassador to the Soviet Union. Cannon established beyond question that the passport used by Joseph Jugashvili for leaving the country to attend the party conference in Stockholm in 1906 was issued by the Tsarist secret police. Cannon also established that at one of the party meetings in the year 1920, Stalin admitted collaboration with the Tsarist secret police. Later, Cannon traced the fate of each person in that meeting and found that all were liquidated in the 1920s, perhaps for knowing too much. It seems obvious during that period of his life he had been involved with the Tsarist secret police, but later was to cut his ties with them. The secret police have created a second identity to shield Koba from exposure. Koba gives them information. They pay and protect him. And for Koba, it is a useful means of eliminating his rivals. Thereafter, Stalin's official birth date will be the one chosen for him by the Tsar's secret police. Koba is an energetic revolutionary. He writes for underground newspapers, and to fund the cause, he robs banks. Some of his loot he sends abroad to Lenin, who heads the Russian Marxist movement. Later, as Stalin, Koba will liquidate his fellow bank robbers. Six times he is imprisoned and escapes from places of exile in the north or Siberia. In exile, Koba undergoes a second mutation. He becomes Stalin, Joseph Stalin, man of steel. But fellow convicts like Aram Ivanyan remember him not as Stalin, but as Koba. They mustn't live to tell the tale. In time, Stalin will have Ivanyan tortured and then silenced for knowing Koba. Aram Ivanyan's daughter, Lutseta, remembers with horror a visit to her father in prison. Well, I was struck dumb. We were given ten minutes only and mother had a talk with him. I said nothing. The only thing he asked my mother for was my photograph. And it was in my school briefcase. So I opened it and handed the photo to father. When I looked at his hand, I saw that it was all disfigured without a single fingernail. We learned that on the 21st of December, my father was executed here in prison. Well, mother was arrested too as a member of the family of a traitor to the motherland. She received eight years in prison without the right of correspondence. Well, this is how things were. The pattern emerges for Joseph Vissarionovich Jugashvili. Become Koba. Become Stalin. To create for himself a new identity, it is necessary for him to murder his personal past. He begins in earnest with his family. 